Well, it's been about like maybe 10 months since I've been here to the Cottage Grove Speedway, and it feels so good to be back. One of my favorite racetracks here in the Pacific Northwest. This place is only like two hours north of our shop. So welcome back to today's video. If you are new here, this is the Cottage Grove Speedway located in Cottage Grove, Oregon. Uh, one of the most unique racetracks, in my opinion, in the United States. Got no outside wall, uh, really good banking, develops a very, very thin bottom. You have to slow down to hit it. And then it doesn't usually get much of a curb up here on the high side, but an edge and you gotta be careful because it's very easy to slide off of it and usually a very wide racing surface. If you kind of turn a little bit, you can see them watering the track, trying to get tonight's surface all prepped. Now they've been trying to get a 360 race in here in 2022 for like the last month and a half. They've been rained out four or five times. And finally, we got some beautiful weather to hit the track today. So I think we got a solid shot at a win tonight. We're hoping just to put all the pieces of the puzzle together. We have a couple, couple of hours until all the action will start and then we'll be rolling right into engine heat, hot laps, and qualifying. Should be a good one. a place like Cottage Grove that I'm so familiar with was our best possible choice. Now the racetrack, the racetrack, well if you check out our tire here, get a little bit of a close up, you can see our left rear. And here's a look at our right rear. The left rear was brand new, right rear was used, um, and that was just hot laps and qualifying. So the racetrack was super crumbly, it didn't really hold together, and now it's kind of just obliterating tires. So we were fast time in hot laps by about a tenth. Hot laps doesn't matter, but that was a good start to our night. Then went out late in qualifying, and we ended up fifth quick out of, I believe, 22 cars. So that's a great start. Uh, we're gonna see if they rework the surface. Hopefully they do, because um, you know with the current state of obviously tires all over the country, this is not exactly what we need. But um, hopefully they rework it. We'll be moving on to the heat race with a good start to the night. So qualifying wrapped up, they worked on the racetrack a little bit and now the sun is starting to set. So hopefully that kind of plays to their advantage. They tilled the bottom heavily, tilled the top a lot and the, the middle is still very hard. So a little bit of a question mark kind of going into these heat races. Ended up fifth quick overall. That is gonna line us up to start third row inside for our heat race and we need to run in the top four to get our time back to start in the first three rows of tonight's A main event. Carly literally starts right ahead of me. That should be interesting, but uh, I know we can go forward. Our car's good. I think we even could have qualified better than we did but we're still in a good spot and uh, like I said just try to see what the uh, the racing surface looks like and I think if we can move around we should be able to move forward get in the spot we need to and then be looking ahead at the uh, feature.
is over. Tire update. Officially ready to be dismounted. And officially ready to be dismounted. Track had actually uh, some grip around the high side, so we were able to run up there. Three and four already kind of seems like it's starting to get abrasive through the middle, so I mean, I don't know. It seems like the rubber is kind of starting to come in there. One and two just stayed really clean. I kind of just tried to run everywhere everyone in front of me wasn't just to see how we can make our car better um, for a different lane because the track's kind of one lane around the high side, and so I was testing stuff, you know, where to get my wing, and ultimately I felt like my wing was a little too far back, and, and therefore I was just getting a little too tight uh, for corner entry, and I was good everywhere else. So we're definitely going to have to make sacrifices for certain parts of the track to be worse, to be better than others, and so just kind of finding that balance, but good heat race, try to go as far forward as we can, really test this car, and um, now we're going to be starting somewhere up front in the A-Main event, depending on what we draw. I'm down here looking at the track. Not much of a, uh, not much left here on the surface at Cottage Grove. And damn it, I pulled a six again. Just a horrible draw tonight. So we're rolling off from the third row. I, I feel confident that we're going to be able to pass cars, but man, I just want a, a little bit of an easier job. I think if we start on the front row, we're lights out. But anyway. Rubber is coming, it's more of a question of when. Lap one, lap three, lap 10, they're already cutting the feature short to 25 laps instead of 30. So they know what's coming, we know what's coming. It's just a matter of when. All right, here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Rolling off sixth. You know the situation, uh, racetrack might be interesting. It might go a couple different ways, but probably gonna be hard on tires. Everyone's gonna have to be aggressive. It's all about getting to the front as fast as you can. And I think whoever can get out front and get through lap traffic will be on the front stretch at the end of it. So hopefully it's us. I feel good about our chances. I'm just gonna try to play our cards right, do what we can. Excited to go out.
Cottage Grove has come to an end. Came home second, sixth to second, more like 20th to second. Um, car was good early, got a couple of spots. I wouldn't say we were hanging out, we were just trying to go, you know, I, I told you we had to go forward as fast as possible because we didn't know if the track was gonna stay or if it was gonna rubber up. And actually when we got out there with some of the, the, the smaller tired cars out in front of us, it did turn up a couple spots. So it, um, it, it was in better shape than I thought it was gonna be. Got into fourth, and once we got into lap traffic, I just made a simple mistake. The car in front of me, or the lap car in front of me, kind of went through the middle. It didn't spook me, but I just it just threw off the timing of my corner. And um, with how the track kind of is, it, it's starting to crown off a little bit more than normal here at Cottage Grove. And I just I totally missed my corner. I mean, like complete rookie mistake, 100% on me, and um, that put me back to like I said, 18th, 20th, somewhere towards the back. I was at almost you know the, the tail end of the longest line. Then we had a huge wreck, and things started going my way to where I could make a comeback. I think I gained five or six spot, spots from that red. Drove around five or six cars. Had a, another incident with the leaders, and all of a sudden we found ourselves back in the top five actually pretty quickly. You know because our car had such good speed. Here's a look at our right rear. It blistered, and I must have ran over some debris because it was going flat with about 10 to go. Started going flat and my car just drove worse and worse and I tried to get my wing forward to make sure I wasn't too tight and eventually I was third on the last restart and the top two got together and I got in second but I just needed the race to be a little bit longer to have a shot. Um, so completely frustrating just because like I said, it's on me. I mean, if I don't fly off the track there with some of the other stuff that happened during the race, you know, I think we would have we would have got it done, or we would have been in a we would have been in a good you know good spot like we were at the end. So it just sucks. I feel bad. You know these guys, we all work so hard, and you know we want to win. And, and second is not what we come for. So um, I mean, a good recovery nonetheless. Car drove great, but you know at the end of the day, we didn't we didn't get what we came here to do. So uh, that's when we're looking at our right rear tire. We're gonna load up. Glad the car's in one piece. Definitely had a lot of opportunities tonight to not be in one piece with some of those wrecks in the back. But um, yeah, I mean like I said, not too much to say. Second sucks. Well, tire rack has a lot less tires than when we showed up. Car and mule are all loaded. Now, I don't really feel any different than I did in the last clip. Um, you know, it just sucks. Like, it's one thing to get beat, and it's one, but it's another thing to feel like you kind of gave a race away or, you know, put it in someone else's lap. And if you're around me long enough, my closest friends know that the thing that just triggers me the worst is simple mistakes and, and simple mistakes in racing, I'm more saying. And sliding off the track like I did was, was a simple mistake. You know, those, can't happen you have to correct those and try to minimize them as much as you can to win races and that hurt us tonight so like i said what hurts the most is feeling like we had a winning car we were in a good spot wish we would have drew a little bit better but still we were up to fourth and then i just kind of tossed it out the window and, and made it much harder on myself and then luckily things went my way to where i could work my way back up into the top three and run second and get close again but still, it just it just it just sucks. At the same time, though, you can't necessarily play the what if game because if I don't slide off the track, I mean, a whole list of other things could have occurred. But um, so that's the negatives, you know, feeling feeling that way. But the positives: new car ran good, had great speed. All the work we did in the shop translated on track. Nothing, you know, came apart or broke. And with how many hours and the chaos with my dad, Carly, and myself all working on it, I'm I'm proud of that, and that's something that's um, really really neat. So real quickly, want to give a quick shout out to all of our partners, on-site screeners. Next Gen Def, Carson Oil, Lafarge, uh, Pit Stop USA, Earth it Environmental, QRC, Fast 4 Media, as well as all you great fans from all over the world that support THR and our team and what we're trying to do here. It, uh, it means so much. Anyway, that wraps it up. Second place, still room for improvement. And as I always say, that is what keeps you coming back for more. See you guys all in the next one. Deuces.